monitor only. I don't know what that means. Oh, let me make this global actually. All right, hello. Is this better? Yeah, this this works. This should work. Yeah. Um. Let's fix this by doing. All right. Say something, Matt. Um. Oh, there you go. oh they should they hear me. All right. Can you hear Matt? Yeah. All right. We're good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right. In case you couldn't tell, both of us were flaming both teams the entire time we were muted. But no. Yeah, we were me. flaming both of them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, oh, what did we say? Oh, um, it might be because I'm sharing my screen. Let me stop sharing my screen. Is this better? It might be because you're sharing your screen. Are you watching the Twitch itself? You need to mute the Twitch if you have a window open for Twitch. I do not. I just have Streamlabs. Oh. Is there a sound like that? Anyone? It's over. Who hired these guys? Listen, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't hear an echo on the stream. Maybe uh, Fudge Cat has it open twice. Yeah, I'm gonna blame him. Wait, so you're watching the stream? You don't hear an echo? Yeah. Sarah, do you hear an echo? I can't trust Fudge Cat anymore. No, I see, don't. damn, that's crazy. Okay, now I'm muting the stream now, so now I will not hear. Okay, so draft is now complete. Sorry, guys, you're having technical difficulties. Um, as per usual, I'm Booze Vesh too. I don't think there's <laughs> been a clean. I don't think there's been a single clean stream ever. The clean stream starts now. The clean stream starts now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave draft open up uh, while they load in because we didn't really get to talk about this. Uh, but yeah. Something we mentioned before it was uh, occurred to us that don't no audio was playing was that uh Crystal Scar drafted basically the Kentech comp. Oh, at least the first three. Yeah. The last two before we couldn't commentate or we got the five hundred dollar Ari skin. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Everyone's practicing their Aries just when they cost five hundred dollars to play. And on the uh, right we have Briar. I don't know who's playing Briar. I've never seen Merrick play Briar. Um I've never seen Kel play Briar. I think Merrick does play Oriana. Oh no, it's it was, it's definitely Kel. I remember I heard Kel um he said he was practicing Briar. I've definitely read the logs that he's been practicing Briar. I I don't think he's ever had the confidence to bring it out in a game. But he he, he said he's been working on it. So, I guess this is the game he finally debuts. And it's a... Honestly, now that we have the full comp, I think it's a very... It's rounded out very well with Briar. Like, Orianna easily helps anyone stick. That's melee. Karma, speed up. Like, honest, And then, like, Jin ulti can follow up from a billion miles away. So, the comp looks very rounded out for a Briar pick. Yeah, also, if Leona is able to get her ultimate off on the MF when they're ulting, it changes the dynamic completely. You're very right. MF's E still has Grievous Wounds, right? So they they have inherent Grievous Wounds right now? They don't... Am I, am I wrong? Oh, wait, hold on. Sarah said there's no Echo, but now someone else says there's an Echo. <laughs> Alright. We can do this. Mo uh. 
Yeah, that's probably me. You know what? Hold on. I have open back headphones. It's probably echoing like that. Here, let me go get my closed back headphones. I'll be right back. I think that's probably it. That people are complaining. You know what? I'm just gonna commentate lean back. If that helps you. Yeah, turn me down on Discord. Is this better? This is worse? I'm... Oh no, I think oh. I'm with the mic. Oh, it's talking about me. <laughs> turn my mic down. It's cooked. Better? So is the echo me or Matt or both? <laughs> oh wait, Matt, you gotta change. You gotta go to spectate. They're waiting on you. <laughs> oh my fault. Sorry, I'm reading chat. <laughs> Freaking reading chat because everyone hates us. Yeah, dude, turn me down on Discord. Come on, that's really it. Alright, what about now? I don't know. Yeah, even more. I can hear it on stream. More? How low, how low, do, you ha how low do you have me? You're at 100 right now. I'm at 100. No, put me at like 50. Okay, what about now? Okay, I think... See, now I can't hear you. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Hold on. Can you turn... Um... I can just adjust the... Uh... See, that's good on, like, on the stream. I can adjust the stream live volume. Here, here. I'll, okay. What about... I will. The suspense is killing me. Okay, is this better? I gotta read you up because I don't hear you. Say something? Is this better now? You're in a hole. You are so small right now. Can anyone else hear him? Is that just me? No, I couldn't hear me on stream either. Okay, is this better? Uh, it's slightly better. Can everyone hear me on stream now? What about now? Say something? Unlucky. No, I can, can't even hear me on stream. Okay, I'm turning myself back up. Alright. Uh, is this better? Hopefully. I think that's it. I, I think I just heard it on stream. Good volume? Yeah, it sounds fine. I think it sounds fine on stream now. Alright, cool. Okay. We did it. We finally made it. Clean stream. Clean stream so far. Oh, it's over. <laughs> We're still uh, in uh, the client. They're picking their champion. They spelled bitch on the fuck. <laughs> wait, on the bit. Wait, oh, you can't see. Oh, you, you're not streaming the the champ select. They spelled bitch and champ in the ban thing. <laughs> Look, do you see it? Do you see it? Wait, which they one? Been, they brand brand Alawi Talia Caitlin away spells bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Shurima, Shurima's getting banned. <laughs> Shurima's been DQ. <laughs> they lose a ban. <laughs> they lose a ban. Someone please inform Shurima they lose a ban. In just 15 seconds, the game will start. Personally, I would love it if both teams invaded. Because I love invading every game. That's true. Unfortunately, Piltover, we're kind of lame. We almost always five point. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Chad. Alright. 
spectator delay. Three minutes. I'm gonna leave it here for now. All right, so talk to me. Which team do you think looks better going into this? Both teams need a win. They're tired of losing. These are both two very good uh, team fighting comps. Never understood these Chemtech drafts. Uh, why is Gwen allowed to play Seraphine? Gwen Shapiro? I don't know. Is Gwen Shapiro a Seraphine one trick? I, Gwen Shapiro is also a rookie, so we kind of don't know his stats. So, it's his only good champ. I don't know, he's kind of nasty on Lux. Yeah, he's been doing pretty well with his go shots and other stuff. Yeah, and Leona. I think... They also took the Leona from him, so that's a little bit of respect pick right there. Also, Gwen Shapiro's, no disrespect, is the lowest like rated on the MMR for Booze Bash. So maybe they just disrespect Gwen Shapiro. Like, that's just, that just might be the only reason. Like, Katie how many bans? What are the bans? They banned two top laners. Was that three top laners? Wait. Okay, they banned three top laners. So I think what they're trying to do is, because Noodle Magic is a fill, they're trying to make sure that their top laner stomps. I think that's it. I don't think... Noodle Magic plays any of those champions, unless... He... I know, which is very strange. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait, I'm stupid. Oh, it's the other way around. Yeah, Noodle Magic subbing in for Shurima, so that makes oh, sense. Oh, because the icons threw me up, because you <laughs> flipped them with the... Oh, oh God, true? So over. <laughs> yeah, the Crystal Scar is actually part of Purple Gang. I don't know if you knew this. <laughs> you flipped <laughs> Oh, God, I can't <laughs> Even if it's yeah, so okay, so okay, so what I meant to say was, Sharima bans three top laners in order to give Noodle Magic their sub, their best shot. So I think that is their, that is their thought process. You're more than welcome to disagree, but like I'm just trying to get into the mind of what these captains are thinking. All right, the game is loading up. I am in the loading screen, 0%, so give it a second. Please load. Uh, I can do a backflip, give me a second. There you go. Oh, I'm still at 0%. Nice, nice. I'm at 0% too. Okay, cool. It did not sound like I slapped my table. It sounded like I did a backflip, Sarah. Mm. That's fucked up. Oh, thank you. I was getting a little worried that it was not I'm in the game. Me. Dude, if we're replay casting, I'd be like, it's over. <laughs> I'm not even opping, and I have to replay cast. Like, when will the suffering end? I'll be like, I demand extra marbles. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the Karma Top? Yeah, it's Karma Top. That's what I said. It was Noodle. Ooh, baby. Noodle's Karma Top. No, it's the double five point. Oh, wait, no, we got Chase on the tower oh. walking in. Oh. Chase going up the trade. All right, I think Noodle won that. Noodle won that, he's ranged, so it will be easier for him to get more damage off later. Uh, Rumble started Doran's ring. I'm sorry, but I have to disagree with that. If you're going to start AP, you have to start either Dark Seal or Amp Tome. You don't have mana as Rumble. Or you start Doran's Shield. But yeah. um, it's okay. I'm not a hater. Well, you don't have mana, but you do regen health. 
So I don't know. Maybe maybe that's the difference. Oh, oh, you do regen health if you don't have mana. Yeah, if you can't regenerate what? mana, if you can't gain oh, mana, so you could I have full forget. mana and regen as health, or I assume you just oh, regen health. health. You're right. Okay. All right. Okay. Show chat. Oh, chat. You want to see chat? Uh, let's see. They want to see chat for flaming. <laughs> Listen, you yeah, can see they... Oracle lens right here. That's an early Oracle for the jungler. It makes sense though. Okay, but the reason why is because Merrick had a history of flaming in all chat, so I mean, can we blame him? You can't blame chat for wanting to be- Yo, early trace coming up top lane! Oh, huge noodle poke. Oh my god, grass. Oh, grass. Yeah, noodle should have more sustain in this lane. He also has two abilities, level one, so Chase kind of has to respect that a little bit. Oh, no. Alright, bot got level 2 first, they're pushing in, they best side backed off, recognizing that. I'm gonna check in on top lane real quick, okay. Chase popped his pot, he looks like he'll be fine for now, you just gotta be careful with the RQ folks. Oh, Gwen Shapiro landing double snare. Or the single snare, I don't really know how that works. The I'm about to say, like, am, I, am I behind? Dude, I thought I was behind. I was like, oh, landing the snare? I'm like, oh, am I the, it's the root. behind? <laughs> yeah. I'm about to say, like, oh man, I'm behind. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> um, so we're seeing a little bit of, I didn't realize a couple of mix-ups for the comps, because I remember Wait For It was top lane for a decent while, am I, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, at least I think he was for, for my <laughs> We're gonna see Amumu come up, skipping Grom to try to get this gank off. Americ or not Merrick, Kel is heading to Krug, so Amumu will be able to get this off first. Briar is around. Oh, hook landing. Oh. First blood going to Ooh, Chase. Rumble. Yep. That was a that good play a by good. the Amumu skipping Grom to get that gank off. Very good. No full clear. I assume she's in the scuttle now, and then she could go back up to Gromp, maybe get, try to double scuttle. We don't know. I don't think they know where Kel is. Nope. Briar did opt for a full clear. Yep, they spotted. Oh, we got Leona going Oh, in. we're going, going, but going Jin in. is rooting. Wait for it. Ignite. Ignite going off. Jin going to get the Ignite's fourth going shot. Off all around. Full shot off. No, not enough. Flashes all around. Yep, that was two stuns. Mochi is in fact mid with the $500 skin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> $500 champion. But yeah, uh, Crystal Scar bot lane had to blow both of their summons for MF and Ignite on the Seraphine. Meanwhile, Tahala and Majestic, I think that's how you say it, both have their yeah. ghost and flash up. $500 skin can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Moshi did land a no! charm, running low on mana. Charm landing! What is this auto directed camera? <laughs> the camera see the recognized looking... Ari didn't have mana for a follow up. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> GD clearing wards, hopefully, to set up a future gank. Oh, Noodle just eating the rumble poke. It's not even poke, it's really just damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a strange like matchup where you kinda have to like constantly like look at his uh yellow gauge because like if you see it at yellow, you're gonna lose the trade. Yeah. By like a lot. Merrick is the one low on mana now. Ari did TP back to lane for this advantage. So maybe they're able to, to poke out Oriana get a crash. Flamethrower, con connecting. Noodle is, does have ulti up. That just upgrades Mantra, right? Just a little bit. I, perhaps. I didn't really I'm pretty see sure. it. Oh, we got Void Grubs coming up very soon. Briar and Amuma are both top side, so they might, they might want to fight for this. Because the Void is pushing the favor for this card. Gwen Shapiro a little alone out here, if they engage on that, MF is going to be 
too far behind to help out. Ward fight! Oh, I love ward fights. How far are we extending for this ward fight? <laughs> Wait oh. for it. Try to follow up. Oh, supports are a bit split. Majestic all alone, caught out. Ghost getting popped out by Jin. Bandage toss missing. Charm landing. Second bandage toss. This is their mark. Briar got out, she's gonna be able to heal back to full because she's going back to fountain. So, you know, OP. Mm-hmm. Big wave Katie coming in so bot. Katie is on boy ground. Katie's under tower with the ult. Not able to quite finish the job, but got Noodle low and Noodle has no mana or TP. Mm -hmm. Boy do not seem like the most crucial objectives for either comp. They both don't have like a really big split pusher, but the EXP is always nice. And plus, Mumu does it much better than Briar on this on their comp. The AOE is just too good on a Mumu. Clears grubs way better. To Hollow with a slight CS lead down here. Let's see if this is gonna be a difference maker. They both have about the same items. Alright, now we're just chilling. Oh yeah, this is very like. I swear Kel's like more like either aggressive or more mindful about counter ding ding normally when I see him on his like Shivana or something like that. But I wonder if his Briar just mostly I wait till six. I've not I've only heard about it. I've not seen him play with his Briar yet. Merrick, yeah. let's see about this. Mochi looking like looking to win this trade. Fairly even. Yo, Noodle! Oh, 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 oh finds his mark on Mochi! Oh no! Oh Kel got unfortunately gonna be under tower! Good charm. Oh, is that? Oh, wait, turning around perfectly. All calculated, all part of the plan. It looks like Moshu was able to, almost able to kill Kel there. But Kel got out slight... and Merrick was able to come back in with the ult. Good play. Yeah, a little bit of slight ex overextension. We saw the triple ult getting caught out, so there was an easy ult to, from Merrick, in order to knock him back up. Never. Mastery into taking a tower shot. Holy aura. Wait, what's happening? The squeeze oh. don't know how to focus. Oh no. Okay. Oh the no. The trying to give the, the kill. Yeah. Nice. Okay, nice. Nice. What's happening? Okay. Oh, wait, now we got kill? killed everywhere. I'm not about to kill. Wait for it. Gwen. Oh Gwen. no. Oh. oh. Oh, wait a second. Wait. No. 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 Oh my, there's no way. Ah, oh, that's so sad. There is no way. I was like, wait, that should have hit. If I'm wait for it, I'm reporting Sharima. That's crazy. If I wait for it, I'm checking his PayPal. There's no <laughs> way you stand still right there. I, I, he thought he was out. He thought he was out. I did not think he was out. I saw that. I'm like, your like ponytail is clearly in it. Don't take like the risk. Take the extra step. That's fair. That's fair. But you know, I, we, we've all been there. You think you're safe, and then hitboxes come at you real quick, real fast. I mean, what's it called? M or, okay, Jin Ulti has the animation of like putting away his gun. If you see him like starting to put away the gun and the curtain calls out, you can start running away. Like it's not like the extra like two steps is not like what's it called that bad. That like I think um, MF was like trying to perfectly space for. That was quite the amount of action we got there though. Like we gotta kill mid lane and then we got the immediate follow up in the bot lane. This uh, is scripted. They're trying to make sure directed camera freaks out because <laughs> there's not nowhere to go. All the fights are happening. Katie is going an AP build first. No Sunfire. We are getting the What's the new item called? I don't even know. I just know it's for the AP jungler um, item. 
I actually don't know what it's called. I don't know what it's called either. I just call it AP Sunfire, you know? The true no, name. No, not it's no, no, it's not AP Sunfire. She's like she's not going Sunfire. She's oh, going Rooker? the new AP item. Oh, yeah, Blackfire, no. Blackfire, Blackfire, Black, Blackfire. Blackfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, like, sorry. I heard AP, AP and I was thinking of Moo Moo. No, that was, okay. I was yeah. that she's not going Sunfire. That's what I was commenting on. All right, we got Sharima set up for the dragon. Looks like Crystal Scar can give it up, but they are getting Grub in return. That's is that six? That's six, right? I think so. I would assume that's six. Yep, the six for Crystal Scar. We'll have to see well how much tank Katie goes. I mean, she does have Green Smite. Granted, I don't know which other one you would go. So maybe it's like um, a, a one AP item and then full tank. Could be. <clears throat> because uh, what's it called? Amumu makes you uh, buffs. Oh, okay, we got a big fight going on over oh, here. No. Oh, no. Oh, big whiff of wait for it! No, but what's it called? Um, Everyone grabs Green Smite. I, I, I'm a big Blue Smite enjoyer. But that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> I freaking love the movement speed in bushes. Anyways, um, Amumu gives um, uh, basically a lot of AP people like True damage because of the magic resist, and we have the four AP if we count Mumu. So I think just the buffing damage like isn't as bad, but I do think full tank would have been better because like you just want that extra like magic pen you get with the curse of the what's it called? I think it's like curse touch of the sad mummy. I think it's the full passive name, the full legal name, the full government name. Full government it's actually name. a curse touch. <laughs> it's a curse touch. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's over. I I, I like yours better, honestly. First touch of the sad money. Yeah. <laughs> right, all missing their mark. Oh wait a minute. Oh, I thought I was about to hit Seraphine. <coughs> demolish proc. Oh, was that demolish? Oh, that wasn't demolish. That was just regular tower shot. Wait, was it? Actually, I can't tell. Oh. Mochi going Mochi. in. Mochi going in with after missing charm is insane. Oh, with the flash I like Merrick. it though. But Merrick doesn't flash? have a follow-up, okay. I think. He doesn't have a follow-up either. Oh man, they're both just going in with that. <laughs> Wait, that's a banger. That has so much aura. Miss skill shot into go in is so sick. You commit. For sure. Chase with a decent CS lead and the kill. Oh, Katie, go get me with the good gank. This is a very huge over here. Oh, she thought... Perfect counter gank right oh, here. Oh, right in on the oh, gin. Oh, Katie goes over here. Oh, oh huge, huge big wall combo. Fantastic, fantastic combo. lane gank. I don't, I don't know how she got in that bush, but I'm assuming it was a lane gank. Fantastic lane gank. Play. She also had the patience to wait until she could land her Q on Jin. Exactly, exactly. Fantastic lane gank. Not Hold a lot on. of people will wait. They would just instantly go in, and a lot of time, you know... Patience is a virtue, you know? I'm gonna pretend like KD stole that for me because I do a lot of lane ganking, so I'm gonna like... I'm taking full credit for that. Oh no, for sure. She was taking those last season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, that was a big trade. Wait, what? This oh, Ari first item? Oh, solo kill! Oh no, Brett. Oh, wow, well, I don't think... Oh, wait, no, actually... That was, was good, though. That was actually, good. I, I, didn't, I didn't see wait for it was there for the follow-up. That flash was actually... Yep, I invented lane ganks in Chemtech. Sarah, <laughs> I invented lane ganks in Chemtech. And Arcane. Remember, you're in yeah. Arcane too. And Arcane, oh yeah, yeah, and Arcane. Hextech, not really. <laughs> we don't care about Hextech here. For real. Alright. Uh, Crystal Scar is slowly... <laughs> Gaining an edge on Sharima, but it's a very close game. We're up in objectives. Gold's about the. Um. Yeah, Gold's not with that big of a lead, but. The cloud advantage on Sharima. Nothing to sneeze at. I. Oh, wait. Ooh, oh. It's a bit hard. Oh, grass! No! The shield went up at the last second! I thought Noodle had it because he was almost overheated, but he, Rumble's last ability was the shield. 
Chase gets very away with tragic. 40 HP. We see Briar going up. Maybe able to dive him under tower. Will he chase under tower? <laughs> No, Amu <laughs> is up here. Moshi Bot going in on Merrick again. Moshi losing the trade. Dash is flying out. But it out is a 1v2. Yeah. Oh, good ult. It's able to. Oh. oh, good. Good CC to save him. Flash Q. Wow. Very team oriented flash Q. I love it. Katie didn't come around the fuck around. She came to get a win. Yo, both teams are playing out. They're balling. You know, former Crystal Scar last season fight over here. The one v one. Oh, Katie finds her mark with the second bandage loss. Ult coming out. We have a follow up. Curse of the Sad Mummy. Yeah, big damage. Curse touch, big damage. Rumble and MF are both pretty big, and it's all thanks to the Amumu gank. We got, we saw the first blood top lane to Rumble, and then we saw the double uh, kill bot lane. And, you know, it's really working out for them. I was saying a little bit how Kel seemed very passive on his Briar, and that did not seem to change unless he lands ult. He seems very ult, and that's kind of hit Briar. I'm, I'm trying to hope we see a bit more of like different um, ways of ganking without ult. But I'm not too familiar with Briar. I always ban her. Are you saying that other teams should self play uh, Briar against Piltover? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big ult! This could be a good follow-up too. Fire ult, ult man. Good follow-up. No nice. standard. Right, follow the mark. Jin ult coming through. MF ult was not enough to to kill them, but got some decent damage over time. Good damage, only one's falling from Crystal Scar, so not the worst. They're still up I'm very, 3k. They are. I'm very interested on, let's say, like, how much more tank Amumu goes. Because Amumu is opting to give away all the kills, so he's operating on a lower econ. Oh, we got a Rumble Roam here! Flamethrower! I don't know if we need all that, but that's cool. <laughs> well, Karma's gonna push top lane in response. Merrick might- Amumu bandage toss landing! Getting the ult out? Let's always- oh, oh, the bandage toss oh. going up through. Mary should've tried to run up through the minion. Holy so, banger! So Mary couldn't land the bandage toss. Ramus emo- Okay, I'm not gonna say it, but... Merrick, in the post-game interview against Piltover, said... I don't think Crystal Scar can beat us, even if KD camps me. Or even if I get camped. So I- I mean... <laughs> I don't know! I'm not saying anything. It's still early. No one has lost anything yet. Okay, that's true. That's true, but like... Okay, there are, there's two dragons. There is two dragons. Piltover players know. <laughs> <laughs> truers? Any truers in chat? Any truers? Danny and Nancy in chat knows about the... What's it called? The Milton... Or the... What's it called? Merrick, um, salt post game tweet. Oh, Briar ult land. Good ult, good ult landing. Little... This could be a big shutdown. Do you get a big shutdown? Who's gonna get it? Kel? Kel will be very huge on Kel. Ooh. Nice. And just like that, that is the a game very big. Could go anyway. Actually, it's still 4K in favor of uh, Chris. It is Scar. still a big goal difference, but. Briar getting items is always nothing to sneeze at. That champion, I swear, just does not die half the time. Okay, so now here's the tank we got from Katie. She's going Abyssal Mask, and then uh, we have a Cloth Armor. We'll have to wait and see what that happens. But honestly, this just means that the mages on Crystal Scar are doing true damage. Like, with Sork Boots on <laughs> two of them. Interesting flash from both players. Nothing happens, but I love the aggression. Team fighting, when it comes around, is gonna be very scary. We're gonna see how much damage the mages do. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. 
I have to resize my mini map, I think. Dude, I cannot see dragon timers. You can't see dragon timers? No, my, my mini map is covering the dragon timers. Oh, wow. It's because I play on a widescreen, so normally my mini map would not do that, I think. But I changed mm. the resolution to make it look nicer screen. Oh, okay. You know, Katie's getting so much more, and she still has the same amount of farm as Kel. That's actually impressive. Oh, but Ben Shapiro may be getting caught out by the Shapiro. karma. Rudy, oh! it's a general. Oh, they're gonna be big. Katie, blocking everything she can. R, coming out. Mochi, but Good ult. narrowly avoids the E from Leona. Noodle Magic hunting down Noodle Katie. Magic oh, wait, back! Back door! Oh, this could be big. Oh, okay, Marigal going down. Flames coming out. Okay, we have, we have a fight on two fronts. Oh, now it's a 3v3. So back to 3v3. Oh. True damage coming out from the big curse touch. Heal? They want to keep the pressure? No. Opted to take what they got. Tahala does have the four shot. I saw them trying to eye it. It's probably better they didn't. One charm and they, their life is worth it. Oh, Tala does not- wait, when did Tala die? Why does he not have a shutdown? He died what? in the uh, Mumu gank, Ling gank, early on. Oh. That was okay. maybe when they were 1-0, and 2-0. Oh, oh. That's crazy, why does he not have a shutdown? Oh well. I mean... Riot, it happens, I guess. <laughs> Riot. Shutdown, like... AI is so weird. Or whatever, how it works. Whatever they program for the shutdowns. All right, let's see. Will they actually be getting an objective here? I mean, they both teams kind of use a lot of their ultis. Oh, do we have a caught out here on Noodle Magic? Rumble does not have ulti for a little bit. Amumu does have ulti again. That could be some big damage if we can, can get something going off over here. Oh, oh, big root! Oh, oh no! Oh wait! Second banish us! Oh man, all the ults are whipping here. This looks like it could be a crucial fight for. This is good Oriana. for Sharima. They have oh, but the Hala gets hit by the Leona E. Ooh, just like that, they have to back off the dragon. It's too dangerous for them. Tony Pajamas in the chat saying Karma Top lost his nerve talking about his own captain. That's crazy. <laughs> I love Noodle though. Wait, Tony's in chat? My yeah. chat not updating? Oh, it's over. I'm gonna have to refresh the stream. Or refresh chat. I didn't see Tony chat, but it's okay. Finally saw Danny. Oh, big arc coming up, coming through. What rune is it for running? Oh, whoa, why did Briar just die? What happened? I just like looked away for like half a second. Bunch of Piro! Bunch of Piro with the fancy seat. Merrick wants fancy to stage. kill. Fancy stage. Okay. First touch. Going through. Big rumble ulti. Flames. And it's looking like just a great trade. Not even a trade. That's just a fantastic like skirmish. They're going straight to the Baron. Straight for Baron. I this mean, game is starting to pull away fast. for Crystal Scar. It was very even early on, and then just, you know, little things start adding up over time. Amumu did a great job setting up the pace of the game, getting a lot of uh, kills for their bot lane and their top laner. Briar yeah, ult hit. Briar ult finds her mark. Do you have any follow-up to help Ooh. Kel live? Oh, no. Oh, wait. He did get them off the Baron, though. They're too low to, to complete it. He, in fact, it. did. All right. 
Hell can't they can't do Baron. I mean, I guess that's something. Wish I see how low the Baron was. I think they probably could have. Alright, we're back to farm in the jungle. Merrick has does not have TP up and is showing bot, but so is Moshi. But Moshi does have teleport, so that could be huge later on. This is the uh, mid game. We're just trying to set up around objective. Kel going over to Ward Baron. Crystal Scar has ways pushing on all three lanes. Um. You know what, Kel? He's a good vision score. He's a big ward clearer. Good yeah, that's actually pretty good. Pretty, yeah, it's actually very good. Leona has the nice numbers. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it Banger. now while it lasts. Damn, Time Katie went one. straight into that blue buff. No fuck given. Just Q no. in, doesn't matter. No one else is here. Who, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? They got a flash off from Briar. Booze Bash is raiding. You have 16 viewers. Oh, that means Extra. the hashtag game is over. I think it was Froyord versus Bandle City. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a maybe a kill bush? Not really, just two people. With one of them on <laughs> on Vision, so. It looks like this is gonna be a dragon fight. Both teams yep. looking to start prepping it. Crystal Scar has advanced their lead at 7k. Shurima just needs one good team fight. They, they can wipe the other team out. But I mean, Crystal Scar's team comp is just easier to execute. It's the press yes. R button. Briar ult plus Orion ult. Oh like it's my ult. god. That Amumu Q into the MFQ is disgusting damage. Yeah, that is... I mean, a major true damage angle. Alright. Crystal Scar. Honestly, Crystal Scar could have done Baron. They still can. Oh, they might be walking over to it. They could be pressuring for towards it. They definitely have a good angle for it. Oh, Chase a little bit out of position. Chase over Gonna go down here for sure. That means Crystal Scar has to back off a Baron. Shrima is trying to press their advantage maybe. Kel is up, has ult. Oh, he has launched the ult. The ult is in the sky. It Did it hit? Nope. I figured it's not global. I was waiting for it to go past the moon moon never did. Not for real. It is very long though. Yeah, Briar all down for a little bit. Yep, and they Rumble is down for another 30 place. seconds. Honestly, I would just try to engage on them. That's probably your best bet. He's pretty big. I always love it whenever I oh. lose two dragons as a jungler, and I come up with double infertile. Like, you just lose them to get a bunch of infertiles. Like... That's just a lot of damage they have. Jin is huge. The man has 262 CS. Hold on, let me, let me check out the gold real quick. MF is the biggest person in the game, followed by Jin. And Katie, I think, is third. Or no, Katie's fourth. Rumble is high uh, bigger in terms of gold. Katie has not died yet. Has almost the highest 
KP on the team aside from MF. MF's been doing a good job. Hades the unkillable demon king right now. <laughs> She's her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back to clearing vision, setting up around objective. Playing the vision game. Ari and Oriana both have TP, but only Ari is bot lane. Karma also has TP, but it's not bot lane, so that bot lane wave is gonna be pushing. And Shreemus gonna have to send someone to respond unless they try to make a play happen up here while Ari's still bot lane. The split pushing? Ari. Split push hat is the theme of Blue Slash 13, in case you were unaware. I mean, they do have what's it called? Six Void Grubs, so it's not that bad. Oh, we Ari's have a fight going out. Ari is teleporting in. Katie's finally do down. Flames going out. Big clean up. I want to see them just end the game. Will they go for Baron? They, they go for are Baron. still going for Baron. Um, uh, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, Honestly, I don't think they can end the game, but you know. I don't think they end the game either. I do think Rumble might want to help out though. That's what I thought, but I mean, as long as the ADC is there, it's, it's good. Yeah, time. Rumble got the yeah. push. I think, I mean, the Baron's up. The Baron's fine. I, I think like, in him. They probably could have gotten an inhibitor, otherwise. They probably could have gotten in- they trade... Okay, in terms of gold advantage, um, Baron is better, but... Open up the map? I mean, it, it's kind of an either-or play. Uh, I will say that. I guess in my opinion, I guess I would open up the map. Oh, re-engage after the rumble. That was a big rumble. Oh, oh. more kill with the assassination. That sealed back up. The general Ryan is not enough. Down. You want to leave. <coughs> Mushiba doing Ari a good job in getting in and out. Blind skill shots going out. Oh, no, wait. There was a word there. Oh, the oh. auto following them to the fountain. Oh. Oh, you look! I saw the health bar on Merrick go down in Fountain. And, wait, did the wait did, did the directed camera thought there was a fight going on, so they put them in Fountain because of the auto? <laughs> I think directed cam might have thought that. All right, they got the tower now. We chilling, we chilling. What? <laughs> no one saw that. What happened? <laughs> oh, it's the. I, I saw the stream. Oh, it's over. No. Oh, it's still there. Juan! I don't know why it's still there. <laughs> Run! Hold on, hold on, I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea, I got an idea. Run! I got an idea, relax, 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 relax. No one! <laughs> oh god. Is this better? Why is it still there? Oh no! <laughs> exit the riot client, <laughs> just exit it. Close the riot client, oh jeez. <laughs> Clean okay. stream, everyone. Clean stream. Wait, <laughs> this—it's actually gotten worse every time because I seen Fusion had us like a one-second thing, and then whoever did it next had like a ten-second thing. Juan has the record for the longest spoiler time. <laughs> Congratulations, Juan. You know what can I say? 
That takes talent. You know, that's always a very smart thing. Sometimes I'm like questioning like Seraphine ultis, but like I always forget like Seraphine ulti, like you just get the extension. So like even though there's like a risk of the, the KS, you just like kinda get it and then you just kinda like keep on extending it for a bit longer than you think it would. Yeah, but I mean uh Shrima still has 30 Ooh, seconds. Oh big left. miracle! Oh Yo, if, Eddie, if anyone watches basketball, I'm like, big miracle cuts the lead down to 30 seconds. <laughs> 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 How about the Mavericks? <laughs> Banger! I'm hyped. Yo, if they win, I'm going to the parade. <laughs> yeah, me too. Holy shit, I'll, 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 <laughs> me and Juan's meet up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Shreema is almost back up. We got Briar and Merrick here. Dang, Shreema could win this. I mean, we don't know with, with the base on the. A oh, big ulti. Big Amumu ult. Oh, wait. Shreem is coming back. MF is just hitting the fountain. Oh, no one is targeting MF. 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 I know Tony's watching. This reminds me of the time where Tony was just ending the game. My go shout out Tony. Alright. So, listen chat. What we're going <laughs> to do is... We're going to have someone tell me in the settings where it is to make... Close client during game, always. This is it, right? Sharima could win there, though. Okay. So, I'm wondering for next draft. Do you think that the get, like, how they lost their team fights a lot, that they don't go for a team fight comp? I wonder if that's, like, a bit, like, demoralizing. Because they both had team fight comp. They both said, hey, we're team fighting. We'll match you ban for ban. Team fight for team fight. And Crystal Scar kind of beat them on that. Yeah, but the difference is the Crystal Scar team comp is just so much easier to execute. You have the Seraphine R button. You have the Mumu R button. And you have the MF R button. Whereas Orianna, you have to be uh, constantly aware where your ball is. If you put it on Leona and Leona goes in, if she's too far out of range and you ult, right. you're ulting on yourself. It's just harder to play. And then, um, Briar doesn't really contribute to the team fight. I mean, the rest of the team, it was kind of like split, right? You have like Karma, Briar, and then you have like the, the rest of the team that's trying to like do team up stuff. I don't know. Um, it was. It's just Crystal Scar's team comp ultimately is just easier to execute. I think they, because like, honestly, this is a bit of an un uncharacteristic game for America, because like, um, I know, like, I was, like, memeing earlier about how Merrick said that there's no way they could do anything, even if they do camp me, the trash talk that he had earlier. But what I am going to say is Merrick is normally the, like, the consistent player on their team. And to have that, like, bit of a, a slump of a game, um, I'm just wondering what is he going to, like, pull up? Is he going to pull up, like, an easier champion? Like, is it, like, a bit of a slump for that? I just hope he's not like lost like confidence and then he still pull, pulls out like um, some of his like um, harder -ish champs. <coughs> I, mean, I think we've seen him play Oriana earlier in the season. Yeah, I've seen Oriana him play Aurelian Soul before. Obviously, the Akali is always banned. Right. He might be keeping something secret for playoffs. Who knows? Easier than Ori. Ori is one of those champs that they're easy, but they're hard. Like, their game plan's so easy that it becomes hard. That's what I will always stand. Oh, wait. Oh, it's never? Close yeah. client during game. Isn't it always? Don't I always want to close it? Always close it. Or, or maybe it's never because it won't pop up. All right, it's a fifty. Oh yeah, because I already, I already removed the client off the thing, but you know, I don't want this to happen again. All right, it's never. The people have spoken. Sharima want blue side this time.
Let's see if there's another draft. Okay, has there been mods? Has there been a game three in Chemtech? Does anyone know of this? I don't think there's been a single game three in Chemtech. I thought there was. Hold on, I'm gonna check the uh, commission chat. Oh yeah, you can do that. No game three. Well, okay, I know we haven't had a game three, Tony. But I'm saying, has there been a go? Yeah, okay, so Ma's saying there's never been a game three. All right, Sharima could break the curse right now. All right, Sharima, we're expecting you to break the curse. Give us the game three. But if history shows, all I'm saying is, oh wait, we don't have we, there's we don't have predictions on this channel. No. Nope. But if there was, I would have said put all your points on to Christopher Carr. I mean, <laughs> for the history, I I mean, it's like it's like one of those like those funny stats like you see like at the NBA it's like super specific, and then you just go like wow never dead before and it's like <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Never done before in Booze Bash 13 playoff or regular season history that a team has ever come back from a 1 0 <laughs> deficit of 1 0. Alright, this is it. I believe in Sharima. <laughs> Will Sharima break the curse of coming back from a 1 0 deficit? Alright, we have the draft link. Shape. Chase is potty break. Yeah, Piltover does love their game ones. Dang, no more funny games, no or no more funny team titles. It just has Shreema, Crystal Scar. This is real shit now. Oh no. Got to light one up for this next game. That's illegal. Unless if it's legal where you're at. Oh, true, right. Then carry on. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> Bro forgot. Bro's a forgetter. Draft looks like, like 95. Hey, man, he's zoomed in and he's streaming the, the window. Wait, what about this? He's a good streamer. Is this better? No, it's over. It's <laughs> over. Alright, what about this? Let's just keep it. Ignore Tony. <laughs> Tony's a hater. <laughs> it was good before. Alright, I guess we just wait for Chase to return. Uh, IMR. Chase is back. Throw this on the big screen. It looks like the bands have started. Fan phase has started? Yep. Uh, we got the immediate Heimerdinger Mordekaiser out and the Sh Shivana Akali. Uh, same band for Sharima. I think Shivana was also there in the last game. Shivana was also banned. Here, is this I the would... Amumu Respect band from, for Katie? Yeah, Katie was kind of nasty. I wonder what she will play now. You think she's going to stick to the Yordles and go Poppy? Ooh. Like, or maybe they, they swapped their role configuration. I think a lot of them have done a lot of swapping. You know, I told Katie to play Talia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The crystal, the, the Chemtech banger. MF Seraphine. Ash instead of Jin. That is, act okay, Ash into MF is always like, a uh, solid pick because both ca Ash has her own way of stopping MF ulti. I think this is looking pretty good so far. A I, good return angle. 
I will say, Tony makes a great point. Kel does play a really good Amumu. They could have first picked Amumu. Um, instead, true. they opted for first uh, for blue side to first pick Leona, probably away from Glen Shapiro. So I guess they thought the Leona was a better takeaway than the Amumu. This is Noodle Magic's Teemo. I think they're trying to make sure that Noodle Magic doesn't get banned out. I think that might have been it. It could also be a Teemo. Uh, no, it can't no, be. No, he's locked in top. He's yeah, locked in yeah. top. Chase does play Teemo, though, so that's also a takeaway from Chase. Banger. Kanye! Oh, baby, here it is. Wake up, Mr. West, Mr. West! <laughs> this is the Katie Kane. Merrick's getting his Aurelian Soul Band. So we only have one melee champ. It's looking like it's gonna be Blue Kane coming out to play tonight. I hate Blue Kane. Blue Kane is the one that one shots you and has zero counterplay. I still hate him. Very toxic. Rumble getting banned too. Interesting. Rumble was indeed a bit of a diffy. Talia's getting banned. Oh, that's Merrick's Talia. Oh, it'd be funny if Katie played Talia to take away. As well as Kane. Another... She can play two champions. That's true. Noodle Timo, talk to me about game three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tony, we're, we're trying to see if Shriva can break the curse. No team in Booze Bash 13 history in Chemtech has ever come back from a 1 0 deficit. <laughs> Man, I love making narratives. <laughs> so stupid. Shaco. Wait, Shaco? I, is this the Merrick Shaco? I've never I seen don't anyone. Think this is, I don't think this is Kel then. There's no way this is Kel, is it? Noodle Magic? I've, I, think? Oh, I don't know. It has to be Noodle Magic Teemo. So I guess. I've never seen. This is the Kel Shaco. This is a Kel. Sh I mean, I know Merrick plays a Vigar. Is it a Kel Shaco? I think it's a Kel Shaco. I've never seen the man play Shaco. I mean, I guess so. Hey. Wonder if it's AD or AP. Merrick Shaco? It's Merrick Shaco? It's so, is Kel Vigar? Oh, wait, wait, that's Merrick. Merrick, get out of here. Merrick? Wait, get Merrick, out of here, what Merrick. Are you doing? Merrick! <laughs> hey, what the heck? I said Merrick Shaco, I said Merrick, so like, wait a second. <laughs> Merrick, what the fuck? <laughs> get out of the stream. They lose a ban. Oh. Rewind, rewind. So, I guess we got some. Merrick wanted to spoil the surprise. And it's Merrick Shaco. And I guess it's Kelmid. I mean, Merrick could be messing with us. Well, I guess we'll find out when the uh, lobby gets started. Tony oh. sees Urgot and cries. Like, where's my Urgot? Yeah, Urgot's a bit auto banned and spilt over because we have two. Two elite Urgot players. <laughs> Just kidding. Name them. Um, Tony Pajamas himself? And Mr. Fortnite, Fudge <laughs> Cow, like two elite Urgot players. It's so funny how they both say one better than the other. If you ask <laughs> who's better, they will both tell you I'm better. Listen, I will say Tony has the Boost Bash Championship under his belt. So he will Sheesh. always be the better one to me. Sarah wants to see bands. Sarah wants to see bands on stream? Yeah, I got yep. you. You can put bands back on. It was a Kali, Shivana, Caitlyn coming out from Crystal Scar immediately round one. <coughs> it 
And then Moo Moo Rumble with the band, the respect bands that immediately came out. Okay. Fun. What's I up? hope Katie does not hear this part of the stream. Okay, I'll mute you. But, <laughs> <laughs> but what I will say is that the last time a juggler from Crystal Scar went from a role playing to like a CC tank slash engage, and then going into an assassin, they might have went zero and six. No, now we don't know who that juggler <laughs> no, was. It's so long ago. <laughs> we haven't seen a Crystal Scar team in ages. <laughs> we don't know what happened, but I'm just saying, according to the, the <laughs> random stats, according to the random stats, <laughs> listen, I I trust Katie. Katie, I want to trust Katie too famous. because I would I would not wish that fate upon my worst <laughs> enemy, much less Katie. Katie is my worst enemy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, Merrick came in here illegally as an illegal immigrant and crossed the border and said that he's playing Shaco. We don't know he if that's true. He could be lying to us. You don't know if that's true. He could be lying to us. Oh no! See, he, I, I saw the Shogath first pick, and I was like, I don't remember there being a Shogath. There wasn't. There was no Shogath. If you go back here, no Shogath was picked by either team. It's so over. that was a mistake, unfortunately. I think by Tahala, not to you know dox you or anything, but I just did. Real. I only cry in league when Milton Fudge Cow is my mid laner. Don't worry, Toddy Pajamas. In the rematch week, you're gonna have a new mid laner. He's kinda raw here. Danzy, you got this. You got the stream on the big screen. You got it on the couch. You got it in the living room. Booze bash too. You got it on the jumbotron. <laughs> the jumbotron. You got it on the patio. The patio TV. All right, we're back here. Hopefully no mistakes are made this time. Are they spelling something? B O O O. What's the last band? What are we spelling? B O O O. O O O. It's magic. Oh, it's gonna be a B, right? Boob. It is. Boob. What do we got? S B W E B. Sweb, or do they do it backwards? B E W O. 
they did do it backwards. B E W B S. They did it backwards. Both are boob and bubes. All right, who do you think is gonna win this time? We got Crystal Scar, the classic MF Seraphine on the right. We got a Lux added, an Urga, and a Kane. And on Shurima, we have the only remaining champion from the first game is Leona. They decided to swap everything around, including the possibility of a Merrick Shaco, if not a Kel Shaco. Alright, I was AFK for a second, what happened? Um, <laughs> I was asking you which team you thought was going to win. <laughs> oh, okay, here, I'm here to answer that question uh, as a fantastic caster. Um, <laughs> I mean, Crystal Scar, I mean, history says <laughs> that <laughs> no team in Booth Match. <laughs> Alright, we're okay, going with the if stats. I had to, <laughs> if I actually had to, I like, guess, let me think. I will still say Crystal Star because <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Shaco is Tahala? Oh, okay. So. Oh, wait a minute. So, Ash Kel. Ash Kel. Um. Okay. So, I heard. Okay, so Sarah did say that Shaco is Tahala's main. KT for. For um, all intents and purposes, is technically a fill jungler, uh, but she's still a good jungler. Don't get us wrong; she carried, kind of carried last game. So, I mean, if I mean, I, I just have to like. I think I just have to watch the show to be honest, because like Shaco, good Shakos are always a nightmare, like for any jungler. Do we know if it's I think an AD anyway. or AP Shaco? I have no idea. I, I do not see the runes yet. We'll have to wait till. I think. Oh, I think either or kind of fit the comp right now. Oh, interesting. The Urgot minions are saying that the Urgot hard counters Teemo. I assume you, if you just hit the flip, it's over for Teemo. I think, what's it called? Um, Urgot can't get blinded right i'm pretty sure he can't get blinded his I, shotgun legs can't be blinded i have no, no idea. is it the w it's one or the other i think i know either the machine gun or the shotgun legs cannot be blinded i'm pretty sure it's one or the other oh he can can you blind the machine gun too all right we are loading in Remember, my client is set to never close. I can confirm it's working because it's not, it has not closed. Okay, banger. All right, we are in. I'm gonna set up the scoreboard. <laughs> I do like that Sharima's trying out this new role config. They're you know they're trying to see what can work. It's still just regular season. You this is when you want to experiment. Right. I wonder how permanent is this sort of role swap because obviously they do have a a fill um, top laner today. That is true, but I think Noodle on Timo. That, we've seen that before in the last Crystal Scar of uh, last iteration. Nunon Timo went really hard in the top lane. 
That's true. But now we're seeing it on... Sharima. Sharima. Against Crystal Scar. How the tables have turned. Minions have spawned. Oh, he got- Noodle got his, uh, what's it called? His invisibility. He flipped, he tried to go in, but like, right as he dashed up, he got the invisibility, so it didn't target Teemo. That's so funny. Oh, we, oh, got, we got some action on. in the first- But Shapiro. Kel is- Ghost getting popped up by Kel. Oh, Kel um, was a little bit too far behind, I think. He also might have canceled an auto at the end, but overall, that, tr that trade was pretty good for Shirima. Dude, the flash popped out from the Seraphine. It was a health trade, but I think there's more summoners lost on the other side. So to me, it's not even. Health trade for summoners trade. Alright, we'll see if the uh, Chase and the Tower Urgot is anywhere nearly as good as the Milton Fudge Cow or Tony Pajamas Urgot. True! They got, they're here in the chat talking about the tech and the team or push velocity and all this shit. <laughs> Bro, we got two critiques over here. Get them on the mics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good <coughs> stun. A good snare. I don't know what it is. Fruit. Oh, oh, I thought that was a double. I thought that what's called was gonna that double shot was gonna hit both of them. <coughs> that would have been some crazy been good crazy. harass. That would have been fantastic harass. It was very close. I know it was. Oh, big flip. Machine gun coming off? Yep, we got the poke out. Off Chase a big wave from Urgot. The Timo didn't really want to trade back. Shreema oh, spotlight taking damage. a lot of poke. Gwen has already healed up all the damage from that earlier skirmish. So there is a bit of a summoner spell differential. Wait for it has all of his spells. And both um, Kella and Majestic have one summoner spell each lost. This alongside of an HP disadvantage could be a bit crippling. Let's we'll have to see. Let's see if the jungler's over here. Uh, we know this is the real Shaco player, by the way. They don't have flash. They have the Q, setting True. up the box dude. Timo is in trouble. Might have to make it away. Oh, okay. First blood going on to Shaco. Kadula finished. Skip the Gromp again. There is a camp gone. I wonder if Katie's gonna hunt for this camp. If. You could like see the Shaco when he ganked, he was down a camp. If I were Katie, I would be looking for the camp that he's he missed. Especially if I can walk through the walls. Maybe not with Udir. <laughs> but yeah. But Katie not messing with the clear looking for the camp. Katie did skip Gromp and went back to it after scuttle. Yep. Um bot lane I, is I was push. wondering. Falling is fully pushed. I wonder if Katie reads a gank here because, okay, so sh from a jungle's perspective, Chico just got top, camp spawning bot, so she could get up a good counter gank here. Katie does back. Oh, this could be dicey. Chico we'll is see. coming in here, but stream of falling is very low. Oh no! Oh, we think oh no! Okay, yeah, the health difference was a bit too much. Kel gets to secures the kill. Right. Oh, what a good hit. Finds her mark, but no follow up. Not even a passive auto. All right, Moshi bought out of mana again. I say again, but that was last game. It, that doesn't matter. <laughs> the new game. Kel, does Kel play Ash? I think that's one of his only 80 carries that he does play. I think he also plays MF. It's been a very long time since I've seen Kel play an 80 carry though. But Ash is one of the ones he's comfortable on. Good to see.
Lux Binding Lights narrowly missing. Teemo getting the blind off. Chase misses the E. Teemo able to get more harass off. I think Teemo should just kept autoing. That was oh. the that was the the one skill shot you want to be afraid of. KD with the top lane gank, not enough. Teemo very close to the tower. You think she's going for what's it called? The range form or the blue form? Uh, uh, I would, I, I, you kind of have to, right? Oh, it didn't AD Shaco, by the way. Oh, it is AD Shaco. Halo Blades. Mm. Oh, that snare barely missing. All right, Kel Shaco now the support. What support's not finding their engage? Huh? Oh, the vision fight. Always love those. Kel, er, and then helping for the farm. Nothing to really fight over. Uh oh, oh big Kel. root. Oh, flash to the counter engage. Oh, Kel Yo, but it's a bit, yeah, a bit oh. too low to try to go for the counter engage. Oh, big ulties coming out. I did not even notice that they were down in EXP. Wait, how was wait for it? Six. Was Gwen Shapiro just out of lane? I didn't even realize. What? I mean, I guess that is a big wave, but two levels down? I guess we'll, oh, Leona's two levels down. Oh, Leona died twice. Oh, no, once. Twice. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say tw once before the fight. Oh, oh, okay. Once, yeah, yeah I'm sense. saying once before the fight. But I guess, like, I, I don't know, I didn't see what EXP did Leona miss earlier to make it that much of a EXP gap, but that was so crucial, that fight. Yeah, I think there's miscommunication in the stream of bot lane because I think when Leona went in, I think that was a good way to get Kel out safely. I'm not sure. I think Kel could have escaped out and then Leona either died alone or maybe walked away. I don't think he needed to flush from Vigar, but I mean, you already got hit by the harass, so that's full Lux combo. Flash by Mochi. Oh, what's dead? Oh, he's under tower though. Oh, is it gonna be a? Oh, the Urgot ulti missing. Trying to bait for oh, the. Oh, oh yeah, baiting box. for the. Oh no. Oh Chase. no. Okay, we get converging with Katie. Oh, Merrick almost okay. had that. K said, I don't want K to get an assist. For real. I fucked up. Oh, I don't think Katie's hit too many people. So I don't think she's on pace for either form, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, she is 0-0-0. Zero, 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 so I, I think she's not really been damaging too many people. Well, we'll see now that she's 6. Maybe get some more jungle pressure. Chico padding toward bot side. Let's see if there's gonna be any commotion happening. Don't you peer Oh no. Good setup. They. Pretty even right now. Uh, Crystal Scar is up 500 gold. A little bit. I think most of that differential is in the ADC CS difference, actually. Yeah. Sweepers coming out from Chase Under Tower. He kind of needs that to sweep the team mushrooms. Katie looking for a gang top. Oh, fights brewing out mid. Good little, nice little trade. Is that first strike, Timo? 
Oh, it is. It is first well, strike. Like I saw the money pops. I, I saw the money signs pop up. Like, wait a second. First strike. Holy banger. See what? Okay, so if Chase is going to keep, oh, what big big fight coming up over here? Huge. Mochi the Hala is dying. making a difference. A hundred percent KP so far. Successful ganks. Katie hasn't quite been on the same level as she was in the first game. But uh, if Tala is a Chico main, well, Tala said, fuck it, let me carry. <laughs> if I'm seeing the Chico like this fed, I would like to see more like counter ganks. Like, it's obviously that Chico's playing. Um, but like, if Chico's ganking this much and you're down on farm, I think you should try to play for. These are actually two junglers I don't play, so I don't really know how... I know Kane wants to hit form. I don't know if that means you just uh, perma gank until you get it, or or what? Yeah, I don't think Kane... Kay... I'm just saying basic jungle stuff, because like, I don't like... No, I'm also not too familiar with them, but like I know them like... I'm, a fundam... I'm just speaking from a fundamental like... Oh, oh, big ulti coming up over here! Oh! Kane ulti finishing it off! Okay, so it looks like we will be playing for probably an Assassin King an angle. MF pretty big got Collector out already. I think that's their win con right now. Um, Shaco even bigger. Man, he's huge. <laughs> But it looks like gold? their Crystal Scar bottling is going to get a lot of plates. I want to see the gold defense. How do I check gold? I'm about to press. Is it V? I don't know. I can't tell. Oh, well, I'm giving up. You know what button do you press to see the gold difference? Uh, X. Oh, Katie. Oh, we'll fight. We're getting we're caught out. Here. MF ult. Oh, big MF ulti coming through. They killed the clone. They didn't kill the real Shaco. Lucky oh, Shaco. Oh, wow. Big damage going on to Gwen Shapiro. Wait for oh, it. It's huge. out of mana, though. Cleanse. Oh, no, not enough. Oh, oh man. Lux is over here. Over here. No final spark for the 1 HP Leona. Final spark came out oh, earlier. Oh, the mages. Oh, no. Oh, babe! Oh, okay, okay, so we got one. Oh. Wow, okay, so that is narrowly going in the favor of Crystal Scar. Yeah, I think Shirima slightly overstayed there. They had, uh... I think they had the uh, advantage before they, they stayed, right? Leona had a bash, she was too low. Shaco ended yeah. up being killed in the jungle. Right. I think they just said, like, both the carries down to the kind of coin flip because MF and Shaco both died. So they were like, oh, okay, let's uh, let's just keep fighting. I, I think both teams didn't know each other's power levels, to be honest. Because uh, both the carries were down. But clean slate. Both of them do not have shutdowns. So let's see. We'll see what the Shaco does. Oh, Ash ulting. Okay, Seraphine gets the ult ulti. off. Huge okay. merit cage. Unfortunately, Katie's ulti did go down off that. Uh, it was like barely all... Okay. So they do get the dragon. Kills are getting traded. I mean, they take dragon. Um. Yeah, wait for it dying again is not ideal. But hey, we do have a secondary win con here of Lux. So having two damage dealers on the board, not bad. It is not a solo job carry anymore. Mochi bot and wait for it both have a sizable amounts of gold. Yeah, for sure. Wait. And uh, the thing about Shirima is, Vigar was getting some good cages and damage out, which applies to the passive. So right. how many stacks does he have? I don't know anything about Vigar, so I don't know if 127, 130 at 15 is good. Any Vigar players in chat? I'm gonna say it's decent because that's pretty good for Nasus specs. I'm gonna frame it in reference for Nasus. 
Yeah, it's pretty good for uh for kindred. <laughs> 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 Pretty good for Scion. Oh, That's true. My boy, boy, <laughs> oh, big damage! Oh no, it's Tom, the no, hollow no, boxes. No. They're so good. Shut down going to a Vigar is not what you want to see. Yeah, if I'm sure I'm very happy about this game. They're only 400 up, but everything so far has been going in their favor. And with a Vigar on the team, even better. Katie making her way. She ulted the right one. Oh, but she's still getting feared. Is this the game three angle we're looking at? The first game three in Booze Bash 13 Kentech history? Top lane. Yep. Chase, Ergoth's um, only kill, I think, came on the Vigar. Timo just chilling. Are the items that expensive on Ergoth? Because, like, he has a kill. He should be up in gold. Um, but it looks like he's down. I guess it's the refillable part. Oh, we got a Seraphine engage. Oh, it yeah. only hits Leona. Good Leona ult big, to stop the MF ult. Big damage. All ulties going down except... Or no, Ash doesn't have, even have ult. Oh no. Ghost getting popped up by Kel. What's happening? What's going on? That was a, a good trade for Crystal Scar. They don't have ultimate though. And it looks like Kane is down here to gank. Ash ult is up. They did have vision, I think, of the game. That could be a bit dicey. We got about a four man here. We got Lux down here. Oh, we got the Holly here. They didn't spot it okay, out. Leona pretty... goes in. Oh, no. Lux. Oh, cow. Wait for it. They're getting a bit of caught, caught out. Dying out one at a time. Timo okay, running down the Urgot. Urgot. Chase. One auto. Yes. Oh, the last blind takes it. Skirmish is up a little bit over down here. Oh. Oh, is this a one shot? Oh, wait. He's not dead. Oh, wait a second. Oh my god. Oh, that's what I thought. That's a Vagar button press. He flashed the, the oh, Q or no. the W. Oh, he's gonna he get away smite? with it. He's gonna get away with it. Oh my god. No! Oh, smite, yeah. See, I was wondering, like, Katie, she should have smited. It slows you still. It slows him. Damn, this Vigar is a problem. This Vigar is a problem. Merchant's purchased up by Katie upon that death. I would too. Fucking smite. Oh, that's what Vigar. Yeah. That's what, <laughs> what said. Like, that's what I was saying. Like, Katie should have smited immediately in that combo. But it's okay. She got the kill anyway. Oh no, wait for it. Oh, this is definitely not what you want, not, don't want to see. Oh, big ulti. Good ulti. Oh, he does hit the right one. Lux teleporting what in. Shapiro? Not looking good for Shirima. But the Vigar is here. The clone is zoning off. Wait for it. Kel got big damage over the wall. They're going to turn on the dragon. Man, that was such a good Seraphine all but. Uh, the Shaco clone zoning zoning out the ADC, so there was no follow up. Very unfortunate for Crystal Star here, one of the big damage dealers. Merrick looking huge. Merrick looking cute. 
What? <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Chat, my, my headphones cut out. Did I miss anything, chat? <laughs> Needle magic two zero three. Unkillable demon. Needle magic so on a word. Oh wait, no, it's not on a word. I'm dumb. The word symbol is still there, even though they have a thing. Oh my god, the flux damage! But the Vigar damage is even bigger. Yeah, Lux needs to play the long range game. I think. Okay. Well, oh you my play, god. Like, against... Oh wow, quite the one shot. Oh, is, to... is he. Is Wayford dead here? Oh, for sure. Yeah. He almost got the kill. That was a lot that of damage. Cool. Okay, so what I was trying to say earlier when Lux max damage wants the autos, but sometimes when you're uh, up against the mage with short range, you have to play artillery mage. And she, ha and she can't go for the combo where it involves the auto attacks. Like, she, she can't, like, what's called, oh, she can't proc, uh, Mochiba cannot proc illuminate with the auto attacks. It will get you killed, and it's kind of gotten them killed, like, too many times. Yeah, also, like, Vigar does have death cap, and it's almost close to completing a voice cap. I know, like, so. just, just play the range game, that's, that's the only way you can, um, beat the Vigar. Like, Vigar ult at full health for Lux. That's like 80% of the health gone already. I mean, we, we saw like the fight where Lux got a full combo, but with the auto attacks and everything, and you saw like t Lux still lost with yeah. like two two skill shots. I mean, like, there's only so much you can do about something like that. The Shigo is also huge. Profane Hydra, it looks like this is the dead Urgot on my screen. Good bait by Teemo, but Kane is here to follow up. Oh wait, we have Red Kate on the field. I saw the knockup. Oh, right into the boxes. Wait, that ain't beer. Oh, it's... oh! oh! That... Wait, Kapula died. Uh, Majestic. Oh, this is bad oh, for Kel. Kel, Kel yeah, you don't want this. I think. I think. Uh, wait for oh, Kel kind of does want here. it. He's better than me. Oh my God! What a fucking Chad. He walked right up How to that. How did MF not kill Ash? What? I really thought Kel was walking to his death there because it was a Dude, Kel I stopped that too. There's no way. And then the team of blind coming crit? out. That had to have been it. There just had to have been like zero crits on those autos. That was crazy. It was looking really like, bad for Sharima when they... Uh, when Kane brought them into MF ult, and then out of nowhere, Kel shows up with his big dick and puts it on the table and said, Listen, we got this. Cool. Shreeman now up 3k. True. I would like to say, like, on paper, um, Crystal Scar's team fight is better, but. Shaco's proven to be very slippery. I think this is here where if you're playing um, Crystal Scar, you want to try saving your CC for the Shaco. Yeah, also as like... an AD carry. Oh, oh what a beautiful no. engage. Oh, no. Oh, beautiful oh, Leona no. follow-up. Wow, Shreema really clicking this game. Shreema's going off. But yeah, as an AD huh. carry, if they're the Shaco on the enemy team and they're fed, like... It's over. It's, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> see, this is why whenever I see Shaco, I, I like, like to play mid and I want to play TF. Dude, I hate invisible champs. Alright, so learn Eve against you. <laughs> learn, dude, learn your Evelyn. I like Ash to play mid. Let me play TF. Invisible champs. Oh, Vagar had a flash to the left root. Uh, they really want this tower, but I don't know if it's gonna go down in time. Oh, Chase Tahala might probably here. Oh, it's over. Tahala cannot oh. assassinate the Urgot. Or at least quick enough before Urgot gets the CC off. There are four red trinkets. <laughs> on Crystal Scar. I, I mean, there's a Teemo and a Shaco. It's funny <laughs> because I thought Chase would be the one who would have to get it because he's, you know, laning against the Teemo. <laughs> But he is the only one to not have it. 
Well, that's what I think Milton Fudgecow was saying earlier that Chase should I have know. gotten Sweeper in lane. Chase, shut up. That's like literally like the probably the number one person too, and it's so funny how he's the last or the only one not to have it. That is actually comical. Oh, and all those Sweepers could not stop them from walking into that shroom right there. Real. But yeah, honestly, the stream of team comp is kind of crazy. You got boxes everywhere, you got shrooms everywhere. Yeah, they're playing team trap and they're playing their pick. They're playing their pick comp um, perfectly. Like uh, the re-engage from Seraphine ultis going off onto um, Sharima is uh, not enough because uh, normally they're fighting at like. With one man down after someone gets picked out. Yeah, but the thing about the Crystal Scar comp is if you get one good Seraphine ult into one good MF ult, that could be a wipe for the other team. Yeah, but like uh, Shaco's like similar to like something like 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 a Kha'Zix where he would like almost like never be like grouped up like really. Like if he is, it's like very short. Like if he sees like a fight go starting to brew up, it's like, oh I'm gonna like look for a flank on to try to teleport in. So, it's a bit of a weird, like, double-edged sword. Like, they, they kind of have to, like, go for Seraphine ult, like, on the entire team, except for probably Shaco, because Shaco's too slippery. Oh, and then they have to get the MF ult, but then Shaco probably assassinates whoever. Oh, Leona oh, okay, goes in. Going over here. Exhaust coming through on Cthulhu. Shaco box is coming around. Tell getting ulted. Oh, there's fouling. Oh man, half. fights on two fronts. Merrick. Oh, oh no. That's uh, walking, walking one inch away from the fucking Vigar is doomed. I gotta say though, Crystal Scar held their own in that uh, 3v3 up there. I really thought they were gonna get wiped. Really? I don't really? think Shaco was able to get the damage off onto their Seraphine or Kane quick enough. I think got CC'd. Oh, we got some trash talk we in all chat. <laughs> Dude, I think if you, what's it called? If Merrick, if you're you playing bingo and Merrick, or what's it called? And the bingo says all chat trash talk and Merrick's in the game. It's like a free bingo square. It's free literally space. a free bingo square. It's actually another free space. It's almost guaranteed. I'm gonna swap over to the gold. Ergod has Hullbreaker. Uh oh, maybe oh, Crystal Scar got the split push. Perhaps. Oops. I don't think they have Rift. Yeah, they don't have any Grubbies though. Unfortunately, the Hullbreaker will not be as effective without Grubbies. Dragons here are 2 2. Wait, I thought it does work in the W, wasn't it? Broken it at does, first, it and does it, so. oh okay. Because I remember, I think when the new season came out, it was broken on W. Oh, does like, it not work? It still works. I'm pretty sure, right? No, they fixed it. Oh. But I mean, I, I need Tony Pajamas or Milton Fresh Cow to tell me what to think. Yes. Does a uh, Hullbreaker still work on Urgot? Oh wait, we got an Astro immediate cleanse followed by the Leona ult. Oh. Bygar is not there. That's their biggest team member. One Shapiro getting a bunch of free autos. Vygar has shown up, but it's rooted. He's probably going down here. Oh. Oh, big traps coming out. Well, Kate. Oh, no. Oh, Tahala in the back oh, line. Tahala on the flank. Oh, oh he's no. cleaning oh, him. No. Oh, but Katie's dead. Oh, big CC. Yeah, Katie good, good, has the CC. That's what you like to see. Yeah, so. At first glance, it looks like that was a good engage from Sharima, the Ash Arrow into the Leon ult. Uh, MF had a great, very fast cleanse off on that. I think, though, they went in too hard because the problem with going in against the Seraphine is that she presses R and the rest of the team is able to do their combo. So mm -hmm. I noticed that I think Ash and Leona got melted from that. Vigar, who's their biggest team member, was not there. It teleported in after. Um, mm -hmm. And like you said, Shaco was playing the... the what was the word you used? Yeah, the, the flank game. Yeah, playing yeah, the flank game. Like, there's no way that you can get the 
big old CC because like all they don't um the only like basic CC that they have oh actually they do have a lot of basic CC they have like the they have the Kana the flip um Lux bind yeah, they have a lot of decent amount of basic CC oh okay flip coming up on here majestic taking zero damage oh, considering shit. Ergot has black cleaver what the heck. Why did Leona take zero damage? Leona, kind of good. <laughs> I don't, or did did Urga not have any shotgun legs available? Because that's like what should be the thing. Where I don't know. I was like, I don't, he was. I don't think uh, Chase was moving around for shotgun legs. But we got Baron coming up. Oh, they did this very fast. Yep. And yeah, Milton Fudge Comics is a great point. We see Urgot has the hole breaker, but I don't think we've actually seen him in a solo lane up until right now. Uh, trying he to did. stop the push against the team of Leona and Ash. He was just in a solo lane. He got bot tower. Oh! That's how he died. Oh, fight. good steal. Good steal. Wow, does, he, does Tahoe die for this? No, they're not going for death. Oh, okay. Dude. I think Fager might get a return kill. Urgot fighting against three of them. Urgot fighting against the Baron. Named Baron Power Push. Any help coming around? Any helpers helping? Chase. Hit the tower. Okay, to there, we up. got a teleport coming in from Luck. <coughs> this could get ugly. The Elder Drake, the game is on a clock. For kind of both teams. See, I'm always one of the junglers. I mean, you know this, uh, where I um, sometimes I'm like, you know what? If we're losing, if we're like losing like this, I'm like, yeah, let them take Cloud Drake because I don't want Elder Drake because I don't want the responsibility of having to smite steal Elder Drake. <laughs> so I, would, I, I definitely am like, I wouldn't care to steal that. But that's me. Katie has the confidence clearly. If she's playing to steal it. I say letter. Merrick over here. Oh jeez, Ergot lost a third of his HP. Oh, half of his HP. Two skill shots were landed, by the way. <laughs> Wait, did that already proc Sterex gauge? That's his HP through Sterex. Damn. Nudo mm -hmm. has not died yet this game, by the way. Only only person to not die. Oh! Vagar trying to 1v2 this lane, but luck with the wave clear might be enough. Pathula on the flaking side. I want to see how much money... Can I check runes? How do you check runes? I want to see how much money does this noodle magic have on first strike. Uh, oh, hold on. This man has... Oh, I found it. 768, I think. 760? That's like an extra, like, two kills. 786 Holy. gold, yeah. Dang, an extra two kills on him. That is pretty good. I was looking at his item, he almost full build. I was like, considering he's down in farm, too. Karima with a 5k gold lead, a huge amount of kills. Um, looking to close this game out. Their Baron is up. No objective, they're just pushing waves in, trying to put some pressure. Setting up the push. Oh, root hit. 
Bricks hitting. Now they're oh, coming no, in. Oh, Nano Bricks dead? Did oh, they see? Okay. Okay. Nice job, Nano Bricks standing. They have five sweepers! They got the fifth sweepers! See, whenever I see five sweepers, I'm like, alright, everyone, sell your sweepers. You know, like, I would tell Shaco. Or not Shaco, maybe Lee. Oh, no, wait, no. Yeah, I would be like, Shaco, like, you know what? I'm selling my sweepers. I don't need any more. They have five sweepers. They have, like, way less work on the map. Granted, the only the support can work, but still, it is very funny when I see the fifth sweeper come out. <laughs> oh, Timo might be dying. That is his oh. first death. That's the Urgot Holebreaker, but it looks like he's gonna go down no. here. Urgot did his job. Wait. Oh, okay. Stay Arc's Cage going down. Fudge. <laughs> we have a bit of a disagreement coming on in Twitch chat. <laughs> Big loot on to Hollow. By big, I meant nothing because literally nothing happened. They're just spacing each other out. Just throwing a little bit of skill shots. Oh, it looks like we got a Kazula going in. Kel gets Wait, chased down by Waper. Oh! Double kill going up. Cthulhu, 1 HP. Oh, she lives! Yo, wait, is Drag up? Drag is up! Wow. And that Man, is why I said Crystal Scar can technically always have a chance to win this. They all grouped, MF got the flank on them after killing the Ash and ulted all of them. There's just an insane that amount is of damage. That is insane to like, even like, a flanking ADC is crazy thing to play for. Why on? <laughs> like, that doesn't even sound right in any way. Can we play for a flanking ADC? It's insane work. Hey, I can rewind it. But <laughs> that that AD carry was That's a banger. going crazy. You know what I do every now and then? Whenever I have Cloud Soul, like I wonder if Urgot like sometimes intentionally does something like miss the ulti because you get like 50% movement. Oh speed. wait, no! Oh, is he dead? Oh, oh no, I got too confident. Oh, is he dead? He might die here. Oh, oh no. he hit the shroom, he's dead for sure, right? Oh, oh he has a bit of movement speed because of the, what's it called, the Cloud Soul. Yeah, Cloud Soul is getting a lot of movement speed. He's a lot faster. And the Ash W. Oh, wait. Derpy's out of position, trying to help the Urgot, but Shake was following. Uh, never mind, I guess it doesn't matter. Directed camera said Moshi Boss definitely on shroom with more importance. Oh, God. The fifth sweepers. I want to see team with damage count. Does first strike proc when you're dead? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Does anyone know? I wish I could check. I mean, we could probably ask Noodle that in the... Yeah, <laughs> if it's up. That's hilarious. Tathula going down here, getting caught out. They're going for Baron. Uh, Ergot's once again setting up for a split push. They do it very fast. Um, Tempted Steel, nice effort. Always love to see the, the, that effort. So, yeah, push is gonna be going off slow again. I want to see how many stacks this Vygar has at this point in the game. 374 with a total of 1458 AP. This man should be able to one-shot anyone. Probably. He does not have any magic pen. Oh no, he has the void staff. Oh, we got to chase him to tower flank. Oh no. Oh wow, fantastic ulti. Wow, 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 wow. Is Mary gonna go down here? This is huge if Mary goes down here. I wanna here see him press R and kill someone. Damn. Wow. Wait a second, this could be an end angle. Uh Timo's a good defense though. Timo Shaco's actually a very good defense. 
Even though they're melee, they're, the double traps could be very good. Looking really scary for Shrima. They, sh they should not be in the position. They're only up 500 gold now after being up 4k earlier. This is big Vygar, big Shaco, but the team comp from Crystal Scar is just executing a lot better. Yeah, they're executing very well. Like, they stopped. I mean, yes, they got the pick onto Katie for Baron, but they did not play, like. I think they're just pressing their, like. They're pressing their luck. Like, they're trying to engage something, but, like, I guess, honestly, I think. Piltover. Or not Piltover. Shurima might be just boarded because they, they're because Crystal Scars played very defensively and very well for like a for their backs on the ropes. Oh wow, what a great buffer! Wow, that was actually insane on buffer, but it's not oh, gonna matter. Huge it catch on the Oh wait a second, he's living! Oh, that was a very good buffer too. Wow, mechanics, Ergot mechanics. I cannot believe. Sharima's had two Barons, but the defense from Crystal Scar, they have not, they haven't even lost one of their inhibs, let alone an inhib tower, or they've not lost an inhib tower, let alone an actual inhib. Like, their defense is actually insane. They're very, they're a fantastic turtle. Yeah, they got wave, great wave clear from MF, Lux, and Seraphine. And Urgot, actually, because yeah. Urgot just deletes wave. Kind of annoying. Yeah, they're, oh, they're death brushing it. Oh, it might work, but it could also backfire in them. Because remember, Crystal Scar team presses R. That once Seraphine ult gets off, it's over. Oh, they missed. Oh, they saw. Oh, they saw. Oh, that was, I think that illuminate or the final spark was good for Vision because I think they saw the death brush and they saw a bunch of abilities come out. They did a good ulti for Vision. Good job playing the range game from Crystal Scar. Yeah, they saw the death brush. Final spark. It's a what's it called? A uh, what? Uh, it's like Ash E, except you have to use your ultimate. <laughs> a poor man's Ash E, or a, no, a really expensive Ash E. Urgot getting the push in. In hit. Okay, so super minions all have a long way to push. They do have to play for this. Uh, Superman, super minions will be. He won't need help. He cannot hold this by himself. Or can he? Hold up. Hold up now. He, there's no super he, minions. He can't get overconfident. This is how he died last time. That is true. Oh, wait. Tala's here. Tala is here. Will that, oh, oh, oh my god. Like, this Ur guy. Oh, are they gonna shred? Oh, they might shred Elder. They might just shred Elder here. Wait, Tala Merrick is, is here. all the way down mid. Oh no, they're using up all their ulti. This could be bad. Oh, it's a little bit risky. Uh, are they gonna swap? Are they gonna swap? Focus? Oh no! No cheap. Everything's not happening the way it should be. Toss at one HP. Cthulhu got the right guess on the clone. Oh no! Oh, they do get Elder. Oh jeez. Oh no. Wait, but they're all dying except for wait for it. Wait for it. Oh my God! It's a wipe. Only person with Elder is wait for there it. There are two big waves. There are two big waves pushing in. With both with super minions, this does not look like the best, especially if you have elder drag. Oh jeez, that was crazy. The one v one between the junglers. <coughs> Is oh, Wayfarer no. able to complete this? There's a good chance. Yep. Yeah. Group up both minions, supers. Oh, we have an Urga TP. Oh jeez. Oh no, it's so over for sure. Oh it's not man. Like this. Oh no, this is not what she- Oh wow! What a comeback. Infallible defense from Crystal Scar. Shurima was super ahead, they just couldn't hold it together. I'm gonna rewind and see this dragon fight. Yeah, sure, I'll watch the stream. I okay. actually cannot believe that. So. Fantastic defense. I mean, I've back. never seen a defensive powerhouse le than like that. I went too far back. <laughs> Alright, they, they, they catch out the Urgot. Okay, the dragon is happening. Okay. 
Merrick does take some damage here. They eat the MF -O. Oh man, it's just they were chasing the cane and the rest of the team were just able to the collapse. This is so sad. Red team has slain the dragon. Well played from Crystal Scar. They managed to come back in a very tough game. They kept the no game three in Chris, uh, in Kemtech alive. Holy! I mean, I I kind of said like at the end like they did, um if Crystal Scar played like their range advantage that they would be able to win, and that's what they kind of did at the end. Like, um, they played their range advantage, and then so that way Tahala couldn't get like a good like flank because his team was like at one HP. But honestly, it, it was just, it was a great game. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it was very back and forth. I really thought Shreema had it in the bag. Me too. Like I, I but like the defense, I, I'm, I'm just shocked like how good their defense was. Wow. Um, yeah, I really liked the Tahala Shaco though. I would love to see more of that, honestly. I wonder how much are they gonna play going forward with Tahala in the jungle. I mean, they they have a lot of different role configurations they can. They do. Mess they have with. run ran a bunch of different comps. Are we gonna get captains here? Oh yeah, uh, captains. You guys want to join? Captains. I know uh, Trima is missing a captain at the moment while we get the stuff oh, figured out. Are. So uh, oh, yeah. you guys can have whoever you want join. Merrick. All right, first let's hello. start. Hello, hello, let's hello. Ha Howdy, Merrick, and thank you, Katie, for both joining us here. Um, man, those were both kind of long games. Um, Juan, do you have questions for game one? Like, damn, I kind of forgot after the, the <laughs> hustle and bustle of game two. Like, uh, I so, be game one with the Amumu MF uh, Seraphine versus oh, right, the right, right. Leona Jin uh, Kim Tech Special. Yeah, yeah, Kim Tech yeah, Special. yeah. No, this is the Kim Tech banger. Uh, okay, but the Kim Tech Special. The Amumu, mean, like, the Amumu went crazy. You guys gave me a Amumu. <laughs> that, that was your problem. <laughs> yeah, it was the... Listen, the some people uh... have said that Katie outjungled uh, Matt in custom with Amumu. <laughs> some <laughs> people have said Holy that. Big. Who knows? It did happen. I invaded him. In fact. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's over. Anyways, uh, what do you think about, like, so was this, like, a planned out draft? Like, because, like, both team comps, uh, we both saw... Uh, we're both like very like team fight heavy. Obviously, Briar ulti plus Oriana ulti, Leon ulti, big wombo combo. Um, but the AP heavy comp from Amumu, Rumble, Ari, and Seraphine just basically doing true damage with Curse Mummy Touch. Mm -hmm. We were like seeing how much that like, yeah, that was just like, it seemed like an insane damage gap. Um, but we thought, me and Juan over here thought like it just kind of came down to. Uh, Crystal Scar team fight comp was just easier to execute. What do you think about that, Merrick? Do you think it was just like an easier game plan that you guys just both kind of ran the same thing, but one's just easier? Uh, yes and no. Why is that? Um, Oriana's easy, but Kel's kind of new to Briar, so every time he engaged, he just ran off way too fast. So the ball kept coming back to me right when right when the alt was supposed to go off, and I would alt at my feet or W at my feet. Yeah. See, that's so something I brought more up. Of a timing thing. I brought that up yeah. because uh, yeah, I was yeah, saying yeah. that the like problem the with your team comp is like I thought it would be Leona or something, but if it's harder to execute versus Crystal yeah. Scar press R and then you yeah know, versus Crystal Scar Amumu ulti and then you just see like. Big damage of true damage AP, AP abilities. I like, don't think it's harder. It's just I'm not used to the briar timing. Yeah, she goes right. from being super slow to literally being halfway across my screen. Well, it's harder in term in comparison to what Crystal Scar had to do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, Crystal... think it was just a bad briar game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Running straight into an MF Seraphine. <laughs> I don't it, think the Moo is too bad for the Briar. I think Briar is actually favored in that matchup. Anything matchup, that but... roots a Briar is bad for Briar. <laughs> talk your talk, Katie! Let him know! <laughs> and then uh, going into um, 
game to Merrick, what were you guys like thinking of? Because like you guys definitely drastically changed up your your comp with Tahala in the jungle, baiting us with you going Shaco in Twitch chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, never touch that chip. <laughs> what did what did you think? Um, uh, did you guys like practice up this comp or like what was like no, your no, game plan no. for game two? Nothing used always practice besides we played with Briar like once or twice. Mm -hmm. But no nothing was practiced at all. You guys were just like kind of just feeling at the swap around. Tahala just said, Give me shit, my main. I, I forgot exactly what Tahala's main wordage was. It wasn't. It was more like just let's just fucking fuck shit up. Screw oh, with okay. their minds and switch everything up. If we I won mean... that game, I was going jungle next. Mm. I mean, honestly, I really did like the Shaco. He was doing uh, a lot of great gank early on. Uh, you guys had a good lead. You had like 1,600 AP at one point in the game, Mary. Yeah, that was a crazy stat. Uh, Max was 1,353. Oh, okay. No, I, I, no we, I, think, I swear, we saw 1,458. No, I, I think... With the potion, I got up to 13. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll... No, no, I think maybe I had a Baron. With, uh... I think I had a Baron. I think I had potion. Yeah, I think with I had Baron, Baron. It was maybe. definitely a Baron. I think you definitely had it with Baron. No, but... Um, Katie, was there any consideration for you to go into Blue Cane? Some of the people that Twitch chat thought you were... No, I really Blue wanted to do Blue uh... Cane. I really <laughs> wanted to do Blue Cane. <laughs> okay, you should have. You needed me to play Red Cane so Chase could split push. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that... Honestly, like, the Red Cane, like, like just kind of fed off the Wombo combo. I like, there, knock I up. stood there menacingly, yeah. Yeah, that was a big, like, wombo combo, yeah, to, like, keep him in the MFLT. Why would you play for Very... the team, Katie? I know, Katie, you're crazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did we teach you nothing last season? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but... What else? So, really, what happened was, I was, like, really want to play the game, but I should play Red Cane. So I went on U.GG, and Red Cane had 2% on Blue Cane. Ugh. <laughs> it's over. Oh wow. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Um, we honestly, I really like what I saw from Trima in that game too. Just unfortunately, you guys weren't able to close it out. I think if you guys can fix your mid game, you, you're a lot stronger. Um, you still have a lot of games to play. You can figure things out. You just, I know you guys are looking for a perma sub, so maybe that can I help think... out as well. I think the, the something you could try to figure out is how to like siege, call out sieging a bit better, or like figuring out how to ban push. Cause like Crystal Scar, their defense was so crazy. Like the fact that you guys had two barons and couldn't crack an inhib. Um, I think like you could like try to work on like that's probably my only advice. Like just figure out how to siege it better. I was trying to, but I had a Lux and Urgot. If I got even mm -hmm. close to the tower, I was dead. And then that's all... Yeah, I yeah, remember seeing that in the bot lane. Cool. It was hard. I'm not sure who should have matched Urgot. Maybe it should have been you, Merrick. Because I guess auto attack range would have been better to, to, for sieging. Um, but that seems like something that y'all can possibly figure out. But like, yeah, it definitely seemed like you guys lost composure. It's just kind of like Baron will save us. And it just, unfortunately, like, never did. And you had two of those things. Dude, I thought it was so over. But, man, like, they're... I was, like, I'm just honestly just impressed by Crystal Scar's defense. Absolutely infallible. Insane. 40-minute banger. Not an end-hip tower falling. 45. Yep. They didn't even get our first bot tower game one. Holy raw aura from Crystal Scar. But... Uh, other than that, like, I don't really have any more questions or anything like that. Do you, Juan? No. Is there anything you guys want to say? Not really. Who are you guys playing up next week? Any I have no clue. Them? I play you, Matt. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh, oh, it's... Holy we start baby. over again, so... Oh, yeah, we yeah, play we week one. Oh, okay. So, right. I think we play Targon? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and then what's called what other games we have other Kemta g game guys we have Sunday is Piltover versus uh... Targon. 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 Yeah, yeah. So that's the other Chemtech game. If you guys want to keep up with Chemtech, um, any other closing statements from you, Juan? No, I uh, I enjoy the games. It was a blast casting it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your season. All right. Bye. See ya. Bye,